she's raised her daughter alone. But recently, after a long battle, she received some compensation from the government for Gamej's death, and her daughter is now married. At last, joy has come into Mahinda's life. Can you just tell us where we're going? To try and understand how the terrible violence began, I'm with Ashok Vahi, a news photographer based in New Delhi. In 1984, he was at the hospital where Indira Gandhi was taken to get shots of the crowd outside. But then he came across a very different story. Firstly, uh, it was not uh, allowed to go inside the hospital. Then one of the hospital security has come. He knows me. Mm. Then he said, hey, listen, you can have a very good picture that uh, some of the sick boys, young boys, are inside the casualty, Casualty. emergency. I went inside, immediately I made my camera and took wah, 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 one, two shot took. What Ashok had discovered was a group of terrified young men, beaten and robbed of their turbans. News had got out that Mrs. Gandhi's killers were Sikhs and a mob was out for revenge. Is that blood on his shirt? Yeah, that is blood. Now you can see their faces. Mm -hmm. See this boy, see their eyes, how they feel. Mm -hmm. If we go out, huge crowd is there, they will be again attacked by public. As the rioting spread across Delhi, a friend who just arrived by train from the Punjab called Ashok and told him to get to the station as soon as possible. What Ashok saw there appalled him. No longer just beating, the mobs were now killing. The picture he took was printed in newspapers around the world. I, you know, I've just spoken, Ashok, to a woman who lost her husband on a train, coming in from Punjab. This, my husband was dragged from the train. Yeah. This could be the train. Yeah. As a Hindu, yeah. seeing all of this happening for the first time in your life. Yeah, that is the first time in my life. How did that make you feel? I feel... And I pray this will not happen again anymore in this country. But then Ashok went from observing the drama to being part of it. On the evening of the 1st of November, a Sikh friend called Narinda Singh Burnala came to Ashok too terrified to go home. He realized that the only option was to hide his friend in his tiny dark room. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. In the night, we put some newspapers. You just put some newspapers for him to sleep on? Yeah. It's very small, but whether it is a big or whether it is a small, we have to manage, we have to save his life. So how long did you keep him in this very tiny space for? Two days. Did you have any moments where you nearly got caught out? Yeah, it was a one or two times there were the chances when the mob came outside the, my office and they are trying to uh, burn a one sick shop here. What would have happened if somebody had found out? He can be shot dead. He can be bitten like anything. Because of, people are very scared. So standing in this space after 25 years, yeah. how does it make you feel talking about I this? feel proud of me that I have saved a, one life. I have saved my friend's life. I'm proud of me. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thankfully, Ashok was one of many Hindus whose first thought was to protect Sikh friends and neighbours. The attacks didn't just happen in central Delhi where Ashok was. The mobs wanted to kill in greater numbers, so they headed to the outskirts of Delhi, areas like Trilokpuri and Mongolpuri. That's where the Sikh communities lived. Almost every family has a story of murder, burning and beating. He was burned alive in the garage along with the car. At their local Gurdwara, I met three men who'd all lost loved ones. Inside is a painting depicting the horrors of the mob violence. The local Sikh community had described their ordeal to a painter and slowly a macabre picture was created. 
ਇਹ ਦੇਖੋ ਜੀ ਅੱਗ ਲਾਈ ਹੋਈ ਏ ਇਹ ਕੋਈ ਮਤਲਬ ਗੋਲੀ ਨਾਲ ਮਾਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਮਤਲਬ ਜ਼ੁਲਮ ਹੋਇਆ ਹੈ ਮਤਲਬ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਗੱਲੇ ਚ ਟਾਇਰ ਪਾ ਕੇ ਤੇ ਮਾਰਿਆ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਕਿਸੇ ਤੇ ਪੈਟਰੋਲ ਛੜਕ ਕੇ ਮਾਰਿਆ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ The men's story is made worse by the fact that they allege that the riots were no disorganized rampage jo police si oh ne aake sanu dhamkaya ke ya to tusi apne ghara vich chale jao nahi to fir assi tuhanu marange je tusi ghar chale jaoge te assi tuhari raksha karange te har banda apne apne ghar par chala gaya us te fir unna gurudwara saaliya sab tu pehle gurudwara saar ke par jis tarah pata lagya bhai ghara vich assi var gaya te fir unna ne apne bande chhad dete kisi har ghar te ke ke 100 kisi 200 kisi 50 banda ਸਮਝੇ ਨਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਹੀ ਕੱਪੜੇ ਪਾ ਕੇ ਜਨਾਨੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਕੱਪੜੇ ਪਾ ਕੇ ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਵੀ ਜਨਾਨੀਆਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਲੁਕਾ ਕੇ ਤੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਘਰੋਂ ਕੱਢਤਾ ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਬਾਹਰ ਚਲੇ ਗਏ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਜੋ ਕੁਝ ਹੋਇਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਬੀਬੀਆਂ ਨਾਲ ਉਦਵਾਨ ਨਾਲ ਜਿਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਵਿਧਵਾ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਸਾਰੀ ਅੱਖਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਵੇਖਿਆ ਇਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਗੱਲੇ ਚ These three men had an extraordinary escape It's estimated that about 3000 Sikhs were killed in Delhi alone 50000 fled the city It's chilling to think that the violence may have been made worse by those that should have protected them The human cost of the barbarity can be found in these block of flats. Here, women who lost husbands and sons were resettled in what's become known as the widow's colony. For them, what they saw just over 25 years ago is still raw and deeply painful. Hum to dosti nahi hui hai na par garib maar kar di. In pe de maar diye. Ye wala maar diya. Hota mar gaya. ਮਰ ਗਰ ਮੈਂ ਮਤ ਤਾਂ ਨਾ ਰਿਆ ਨਾ ਆ ਬਤਾਏ ਆਪਕੇ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਪਰ ਕੀ ਬੀਤੀ ਗਈ ਕੀ ਹੋਇਆ ਤਾਂ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਪਰ ਚਾਰ ਲੜਕੇ ਚਾਰ ਲੜਕੂ ਕੋ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋ ਜਲਾ ਦਿਆ ਮਟੀ ਦਾ ਤੇਲ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਕੇ ਕਮਰੇ ਮੇ ਨਿਕਲਤੇ ਰਹੇ ਉਹ ਗੇਰ ਗੇਰ ਕੇ ਜਲਾਤੇ ਰਹੇ ਟਾਇਰ ਵੀ ਲਗਾ ਦਿਆ ਬੀਚ ਮੇ ਦੋਨੋਂ ਕੇ ਔਰ ਆਗ ਲਗਾ ਦੀ ਹਾਏ ਮੰਮੀ ਹਾਏ ਪਾਪਾ ਹਾਏ ਮੰਮੀ ਹਾਏ ਪਾਪਾ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਔਰ ਹਮ ਉਧਰ ਰੋ ਰਹੇ आपने देखा आपने हां कुछ देखा ये वो लड़का मुंडा बड़ा छोटी से मारा लाठी से ऐसा सो रहे हैं लड़का हमारा दिन भर दिन आपकी जिंदगी आसान होती है कि नहीं जब हम हमारा अंतकाल होएगा ना ये दुख तो तभी भूलने वाला बेटा जिंदगी में तो भूलने वाला ही नहीं ये तो नहीं भूल सकते I didn't realize it was going to get tougher this journey um talking to families who have lost several generations sons husbands grandfathers and all in the name of religion it makes me feel sick to the stomach I was just sitting there thinking for me personally my dad is my rock I can't imagine my life without a father figure without my dad I can't imagine my life without my dad and um and they've lost all their 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 male figures in their family and that's really hit me more than anything the tragic events of 1984 haven't been forgotten in delhi I've been told of a simple ceremony taking place that marks the year in a practical and moving way. Hello, Sashikal. Harvind Fulker is a lawyer who's devoted most of his career to campaigning for justice for those who've lost relatives in the riots. He's behind a scheme to plant 25,000 trees right across Delhi. This is in memory of those who were killed in 1984 and so that their memory goes into the history. they will be remembered for the 100 years when these trees survived and they grew up it feels like a very positive thing that we're doing yes. here harvinder then invited me to plant a tree i knew in whose memory i wanted to dedicate it well thanks for letting me do this because i'm doing this for mahinder kaur whose husband was killed on a train and all the other victims that i've met along this journey really for their strength put a special mark on this so that I recognize this oh, when I come back thank you for allowing me to do that oh you're most welcome one 
group are trying to take refuge in their temple.